We finally got the Hello Kitty Miniverse Mystery Box. Yes, we're going to unbox and review the newest miniature mystery box of Miniverse with Hello Kitty collaboration. And for those of you who don't know Miniverse, they give us tiny foods and ingredients and we can turn them into full on meals. Whether they be drinks and cakes, all the way to savory things like sandwiches, burgers, and corn. But, 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 but. This special one has been requested by you grains. Thank you so much for being my eyes and tagging me or letting me know in the comments all the new things you want me to explore. I'm always reading your comments. And as you can see in the picture here, this Hello Kitty is absolutely adorable. It looks like there's a pancake down there. Let's zoom in a little. Yeah, that, that's definitely a pancake. And it, there's so many to collect. On the box itself, it does show 12 to make and collect. And it looks like we can get everything from a latte, donuts, pies, some ramen, cupcakes, and so on and so forth. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, I'm turning that in my thumbnail. <laughs> More of these pancakes, that looks so good. And even the fork is Hello Kitty themed, and the table, <gasps> the table looks Hello Kitty. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. Just say you're excited. We have a bento lunchbox. Again, the ramen is adorable. I, I kind of want, I want them all. I, I want them all. A cereal? Okay, I want the cereal. Let's listen, if we got the cereal today and the ramen and or the ramen. Listen, I'm gonna try to at least get three different ones today. Since these are mystery boxes, it's not a guarantee that we're going to be getting different things. So let's hope we get the ramen or and or the cereal. I'll be a very happy little grain. Now these are extremely hard to find. As you can see here, it says out of stock. I had to pay each one of these $20. And I do have seven of them, so it ended up costing me about $140 US. If we were to change that into Canadian, Kitty Editor, how much did I pay for this? Thank you very much. I love you, Kitty Editor. This video is Hello Kitty, it's dedicated to you. But you know what is dedicated to Salty Crafter? Liking this video. If you like this video, Salty Crafter gets extra likes in her little jar, and then she grows salty wings, and no, she doesn't fly to outer space. No, no, Salty Crafter, you're not in space, come back. You're not in space. She flies, yes, flies underwater. Good job, Salty Crafter. You do things nobody knows how to do. So make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't because you'll be getting two videos a week and a live stream. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and move these to the side. They are just really cute packaging. I love the fact that they show the pancake. It looks like the pancake is the star of this, but everything else is just adorable. So let's check it out. Usually when companies do collabs, they don't always do it well. So I'm really, really excited that this one is going to be good. Let's get that tear. Nice. Oh, and this does say series one. So I'm curious if they're going to be making a series two. And if we look at the outer wrapping, we have a drink. We have, what is that? Oh, I think that's the pancakes. We have another drink over here. We have some donuts. This is really cute. So the wrapping is not going to tell us what's on the inside, unlike the other limited edition, like Christmas and Halloween. Those, if there's only three to collect, they tell you exactly what's in the box through this wrapping. So all you would have to do is just look on the side. Why? Why are you breaking in tiny little morsels? Why? Come on, come on. Yes, that was that was quite the effort. Oh, oh, excuse, excuse me. What? Okay, that is very different. It almost looks like a Pokeball, but it sits on the side. Okay. This is pretty white, so we're gonna go ahead and get my trusty felt to help us with the shape and the textures. And you can see already, there's some textures over here. It says Miniverse. We've never had something this custom with their own boxes. So this is nice. Let's open you up, I'm guessing. What do I do here? Okay, okay, it opens up this way. Oh my goodness. This is actually really good quality. What? It's not a floopsy doopsy hinge. This actually has a piece of metal in here. Like this, this whole thing doesn't flop down. Look at it, it's holding its shape. Why am I fascinated with a box? I don't know. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have one. Let's take all these papers out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. Eight, nine, 10 items on the inside. Interesting. Again, here's what it looks like. Wait, is this a display case? Okay, wait. We're gonna get there, hang on. I just, why did I get goosebumps, hang on. Obviously, first things first, we do have the guide of all the items we can make, or is it? Yes, 
We can have a cream soda, strawberry milk, fruit boba tea, cappuccino, which should have been a cat puccino, because it's a hello kitty, it's a cat, it's a cat puccino. No, oh, okay, okay. okay. I'm sorry! <laughs> These macarons. And then I thought for some reason this was going to be a savory pie, but no, it's an apple pie. Strawberry milk and cereal. Donuts. Waffles. Why did I keep calling them pancakes? I've been calling them pancakes this whole time. Some of y'all are probably yelling at me through the screen. I know, my ears are ringing. I hear you yell through the screen somehow. Fine, waffles. They're not pancakes. I'm sorry. We have a tiered cake that is adorable. A bento box and the instant spicy noodle. I love the fact that they had to tell us that this is a spicy noodle. Not just any noodle, it's the spicy kind. All right, we're just gonna move everything over there. And the first thing I want to take a look at is the table, which we're going to be using as a decorative item like this. Actually, it's more like the display. Now, this is what I'm curious about. Does this table fit in here? Is that, is that what we're doing? Oh my goodness, it is. It is! Stop! What? So you get a tiny display case that is the table and the side and it just closes in very comfortably. I like this, very unique. Good job. And if you're curious, hang on, let's keep the felt. It does stand on its own, so that's nice. All right, I think now we can go ahead and check the little baggies. The first baggie we have is just Hello Kitty surrounded with apples. And the other side is just more apples with the Miniverse logo. All right, let's see what we have. And the first item is, oh, more, more Hello Kitty things? What is that? What is this? Oh my goodness, what is all that? I have no idea. Oh, oh, okay. So if we look at this over here, it looks like we have some kind of decoration for the stand on top over here. So it means this would go here. I guess something like that. And then this would slide here. What? Okay, I think I get it. So we're gonna put this here, this here, and then the other paper there. And it automatically makes a little tent looking thing. Cute. And then this thing becomes its own little table like that. So you can put the finished item here and then some of the products. This is cute. I like it. There's a lot going on. This is very different from every other one. Again, here it is with the felt. Ooh, there, cute. I like it. Am I gonna do it for every single one? No. I didn't expect the first surprise to actually just be the display. <laughs> and the next baggie, this is so cute. Oh my goodness, we have Hello Kitty eating a strawberry shortcake. What do we have? We still don't know what we're getting so far. We have, oh, okay, we have milk. It could be the cereal or it could be a drink. It, it's either or at this point. And here we have Hello Kitty peeking from behind. We have a cute cow. Let's see what the nutrition information says, non-nutrition information says, because I'm really curious. And I'm curious to see if it's different, but it says sunshine, vitamin moo, and total rays. I thought they would do something a little bit more Hello Kitty in the back here, but they actually didn't. That's, I guess it is what it is. And we have the Sanrio here, happy 100%. Okay. Wait, I feel something else in here. What's this? What are you? Okay, this is probably for the top of the box. I, I, I'm, I'm so done with the box right now. Let's just move on to other things. Unless it's not, because we get two of them. I'll figure this out later. We'll, we'll deal with it later. Next we have this thing. What are you? Ooh, a tiny tray with the little Hello Kitty bow. Here's what it looks like front and back. And the baggie just says Hello Kitty with apples and that's about it. The next little baggie here, I still don't know what we're getting. We have whipped cream. I'm curious if the whipped cream is different. But here again, we have a little baggie and it says Hello Kitty with open eyes and closed smiley eyes and just the logo. And then the whipped cream again, we have Hello Kitty hiding behind the logo. Here's what it looks like all the way around. Again, Hello Kitty. And what do you look like? Okay, just whipped cream with strawberries on top. My, my nose is playing tricks on me. I feel like I'm smelling strawberries, but I know I'm not. I know it's not true. It's just my mind playing tricks on me. And these are absolutely tiny and adorable. 
I don't know, are we making cake? Are we making milk? What are we making? I don't know yet. It is not clear to me. What is this? Okay, we have a milk jar. Actually, no, we have two milk jars. The other one filled out. They came in this little thing. Okay, wait, this doesn't belong to this, does it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, two milk jars. And the paper they were in had little bows all over it. This is a full discovery. This is completely new to me. What are you? Strawberry flavor powder milk milkshake. Oh, wait, does that mean we're going to mix this powder into the white milkshake? White milk? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to check the instructions pretty soon. But it looks like we have a mica powder is my guess. Ooh, that is very powdery. Okay, we're not... Does it smell like anything? No, just powder. And then we have a utensil in here. So let's see what we have. I'm guessing it's going to be the tongs. Oh, they're red this time. Okay, we have red tongs so that you don't touch any of the resin with your own fingers. And they're red. Usually they're gray or gold. Everything's matching. And we have a stirring spoon with the Hello Kitty head right on top. Look at you, so cute. And what is this? Straws. I was like, why do we have chopsticks? These are not chopsticks. These are tiny straws that actually come in a little backing. Cute. Let's pull them out and we're going to get rid of that rubber band. And here's what they look like. That is adorable. That is very cute. I love that they went really hard on the Hello Kitty theme. And then for some reason we have this. I don't know what this is. It says the mini post Hello Kitty and Miniverse, a drink for everyone's taste. And then I'm guessing it's gibberish. Yes or Latin. Make a splash and then it says lorem ipsum. I think it's just a tiny catalog here. What's your favorite drink? We have different drinks here. Hot new cafe in town, a hot scoop. This is cute. Sweater weather is in. And we have a little word search here. Best apple pie around. We have the Hello Kitty noodle. It says itchini sun, which is one, two, three. This is cute. Oh my goodness. I love this. This theme is it. This theme is totally in. And then we have the little mat. Okay, time to actually look at what we're doing. Aha. Looks like we have the strawberry milk. So we're starting off pretty simple here. Hopefully, let's open it up. One eternity later. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so according to the instructions, it seems pretty straightforward. They basically want us to put the milk. Oh, interesting. I thought this was strawberry milk. It's just normal milk. Then we put the powder, stir it, put the straw, the strawberry, and then harden it. Okay. Seems simple. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some warm, well, in my case, some hot water. I'm going to dunk the resin in it just because we don't want it to be too thick. I really want it to be as liquidy as possible. We can get it all out. And also, so some of you don't go. I'm doing it, you're doing it wrong. Stop. I know what I'm doing. I'm an adult. All right, now that our resin is nicely warmed up, it's warm milk at this point. I don't want to sniff it. Although I am tempted, we're not going to do that. We don't sniff resin. Don't be a Jackie. So we're gonna go ahead and pour, oh my goodness, that is that is definitely liquidy. That is great. It needed that warm bath. It is, why, are, why don't we have enough? Hello? Hello? Yes, keep going. Keep going, we need you all the way up, my friend. All the way up, yes, beautiful. This is where we need to go. And then we need to fill the second one. We absolutely need way more resin. Let's go. See, this is my biggest worry when it comes to <laughs> Miniverse is sometimes they just don't give us enough. If we're lucky, all of it's gonna come down. Yes, oh, 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 okay. Okay, that warm bath was absolutely necessary. Ah, no! Stay. Mm, too much, too much. Uh-oh, okay, I, I may have spoken too soon. <laughs> okay, I kind of overfilled here. That's on me. Let me remove some. Because we still have to put the powder, I need to remove a little bit of that resin because we need the space. That looks good. Move you to the side. And now we have our milkshake powder. And technically we should be able to open it this way, but I don't think so. Yeah, that is definitely powder. Do not lick that. <laughs> don't do anything with that. That is not edible, okay? Don't do it. As tempting as everything looks, do not give in to temptation. Okay, that's not open yet. <laughs> Let's get you open. Are you open now? There we go, okay. Now the instructions don't say how many scoops we need. It just tells us step one, two, three, but this does look like milk. It looks really cool. All right, so we're gonna do one, two scoops, and we'll see how, oh gosh, come down, come on. Oh no, 
There you go. My worry is once I start stirring with this, I can't put it back in there. So I'm gonna put three scoops, like I saw. And of course on my desk, cause my desk is a little jealous. I'm gonna move you, bring the other one in. And I'm also going to put three scoops. Of course, don't forget to put some on your desk, but make sure your desk is protected. I currently have a silicone mat on there to protect my desk from me. And now we go mixy, mixy. I hope this is gonna work okay. Let's see if it makes a huge difference. So we're gonna have one that's already stirred and the other one that we're gonna stir right after. So let's see how this is gonna work. I'm just gonna have to mix it up. Give me a few seconds. A few moments later. So as you can see, the powder did do a great job. It is pink on the left and the white one is basically the one on the right. So it's a good difference. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the other one. All right, now my curious question is, how will we get the straw, which still takes up a good amount of space, and the whipped cream mixed in there together? I don't know if the opening is big enough. Wait a damn minute. That's what he's... but let's give it a go. We're gonna go ahead and put the straw here. Cute. And then technically, we should be able to put the whipped cream like this. Okay, it did work. It did work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other straw, like so. And the other whipped cream right on top. Normally I would do two hardenings, but this seems to work. So we're gonna go ahead and take my UV light because sunlight is very scarce here in Canada. And I'm gonna let it harden for a couple of minutes and we'll come right back. So I'm just gonna put this right here and turn the light like so. A few minutes later. And are you ready for this? Here is our drink set. It looks absolutely adorable. But for those of you who are a little annoyed at the straw over here, you can actually wiggle the little bow as high up as you want it. So it can match like so. And it does look pretty cute. It's very much so with the Hello Kitty bow. Is it that heavy into Hello Kitty? I would have loved to see maybe the strawberries shaped Hello Kitty. Maybe I'm asking for too much here, but it is cute. Let's see the next project. Oh, and if you're curious what it looks like with the stand setup, here's what it looks like on the table and using some of the ingredients on the side. Yes. Come on, cereal or ramen. Come on, cereal or ramen. You know, that's that's pretty good. That's, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take what we could get. All right, let's get this open. Which way do you open? Which way do you open? Oh my goodness, which, which way? Hello? There you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Oh, is this a double? No, we do have one straw though. Let's take a look at it anyways. If it's another drink, we're gonna make it really quick. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. It is another drink. And of course we have the cute little table for display. Absolutely love it. We have a little doily that says Hello Kitty. A bag of ice cubes. Wait, are these Hello Kitty shaped ice cubes? We need to, we need to look at this. Are these Hello Kitty shaped ice cubes? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all, are you ready for this? Cause I thought I was, and I am not. I am not ready for this. Let's get these ice cubes out. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. These are indeed Hello Kitty shaped ice cubes. They are so small, so cute. And when I said I wanted Hello Kitty shaped strawberries, I thought I was asking for too much, but no, they're able to make ice cube versions. So clearly I know I'm not asking for too much. We're gonna put you back in the bag so you don't run away because I ain't about the chase. And the first mystery baggie is pretty chunky. I think that's going to be the display. Yes, it is. Next baggie, again, we have Hello Kitty with the strawberry shortcake. And you are another milk, are you? No, it says strawberry sun fizz. 100% bubbly, so this must be some kind of soda. Okie dokie. So it should be a little bit on the translucent -y side. And then here is, what are you? Strawberry vanilla ice cream. What? Is this a float? Here's what this looks like. It says strawberry vanilla, again with Hello Kitty as an ice cream scoop and melting. All right, what do you look like? Oh my God, stop it. No, <laughs> that's adorable. 
Super Bowl. We have two different scoops of Hello Kitty ice cream, one in vanilla and the other one in strawberry. Very, very cute, oh my goodness. See, that's what I mean. We could have had strawberry shaped, but okay, okay, okay. Gonna put you back in here. And then, what do we have here? Oh my goodness, oh what? We have a cup. So I'm guessing this is going to be a bit of a floater. Not that kind of, not that kind of floater. I mean, this floater, I think it's called a floater. And this cup has a sitting Hello Kitty. Love the little design on this. So this is not a drink. This is more than just a drink. Next item, you are, what are you? Little cherries. Okay, we have the little Hello Kitty. It says cherries, and this is what it looks like all the way around. I love the fact that they give us so many cherries. And these are not shaped in any way special. They're just normal cherries. And of course, we did see this straw, but what I love about this straw is that they didn't just take the one with the bow and shove it back in here. This is another one that's swirly, but it has a Hello Kitty face on it. And then we should have, my guess is a spoon. Yes, we have our spoon and the tongs so that if you want to hold the little cherries and place them very meticulously, which I usually don't do that. And of course the mixy spoon, which is the same as the previous one. So it just has the Hello Kitty on top. Let's find the instructions. Aha. Uh -huh. Got it. And it is the cream soda. Let's see what it tells us. It says to put the ice Pour the soda on top, put the ice cream and the straw and just harden it. Pretty straightforward. And because we want our resin to be nice and liquidy, we're just going to give it a bit of a warm bath for just a minute or two. All right, I need to double check how much ice we need to put because that is so dong dong dash gone down adorable. Wait, step one is just water. Just put the liquid. So I guess we're gonna put the ice cubes first. Normally I don't like putting ice cubes first because of air bubbles, but let's just do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are they even gonna show? I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Let's get you opened up. Aha. Uh -huh. And we're gonna face this way. All right, I'm gonna pour you in. It should come down. Oh, hello. Do you, do you want to come down? Okay, very liquidy. That's good. That's what we want. But we need it to go in between the ice cubes. I might actually have to mix it. We're gonna put it up to here. Okay, stop, stop, stop. And we can see the ice cubes, it's just over here. It's not all the way down. So I'm gonna have to, oh, oh, there it does. It does its thing. I'm gonna try and coax it all the way. Voila. Let's see if we can get some of those ice cubes to show because that is such a pity. That is such a pity. This make me sad. You can't actually see the shape of the Hello Kitty ice cubes. You can see that it's a different shape, you just can't see the actual Hello Kitty one. So I might try to shove a couple on top. But before we do that, let's pull this thing out. We're gonna put you here, voila. But I think we also need to put a couple of cherries on the inside, so let's just put just, just a little bit. And we're gonna do a pushing like so. Try to get it on the closest edge to the outside. Otherwise, they're gonna have a harder time to show. Come on, you could do it. You could do it. Okay, so far so good. I think now is the time to actually harden this. And then we're gonna do a step two where we put the ice cream, more cherries, and maybe we could pop in some of those ice cubes. But let's do this like that. We'll be back in two minutes. A few minutes later. All right, now for the rest of the fun part, which is going to be topping the rest of it. Let's put a little bit more of this, like a so. Very nice. Come a little more, a little more. Come on. This is gonna actually be really cute, beautiful. Now I want this to be as berry-y as possible. So we're going to shove the ice cream, like a so. Yes! Oh, don't melt too much. Don't, don't you dare go too low. Why are you going so low? What's happening? Why are you going so low? What is happening? No! Don't you melt down! Don't you, don't you, don't you. Is this not hardened? Did this not harden? What is happening? Okay, I need to do a test here. Did you not harden? No, it hardened. So what's going on? That's weird. Okay, let's put that last. 
Let's put a couple more cherries. Let's get, oh gosh. There you go. A couple more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come down. And maybe we'll so shove some cherries here, there. And because I want that ice cube to show, I'm gonna shove one ice cube on top. There, no, that is not on top. That is gone. That is gone. Why did you, oh my goodness, y'all. This thing is being so dramatic right now. I want you here. Can you? Can, can, can you? Yes, yes, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna shove this back. Oh gosh, do I even have space? I don't have space, oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my, this is a mess, this is a mess. There. <laughs> I ruined it. <laughs> okay, I guess there's no way for the ice cube to show. So we just have to be happy with what we have. That's the space we were given. Yeah, off you go. A few minutes later. And here it is looking absolutely adorable. I just noticed that I put the ice cream slightly looking to the other side as opposed to facing the same side as the cup. But hey, it's looking adorable. I still think it's pretty cute. Despite the fact that we got two drinks, I still think they're cute and they're very heavy into that Hello Kitty theme. Question is, can we break that drink theme with a food finally? Please give me a food. If you want to see me unbox all the other ones, make sure you leave a like. If we get to 15,000 likes, I will do a part two. What? Why is it opening like that? Why are you, there you go. Nice. And what do we have? Please do not be another Ooh, we got the We got the waffle. I was about to say pancakes. I was this close to saying pancakes. Yes! Finally! We have food. All right, let's count how many items we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have this, six, seven. Of course, the mat. Eight and nine. I was getting tired of drinks. They're cute, but I wanted something else. And I'm going to guess but this is going to be the decor for the, the actual capsule. Again, if you want to see, remember what they look like, here it is, this is what it looks like. We have our two parts for the table, adorable. And obviously we have the Sunny's Griddle Hello Kitty waffles. It says hot off. So this is pretty, pretty cute. Oh my goodness, look at the back of this. All right, let's see, what does it say in the back? It says 100% ooh la la, very fun, vitamin yum, and total joy. Again, we don't have anything special for the Hello Kitty version, but okay. Let's take these out. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. These are so perfect. These are really perfect. Honestly, I love these. Look at that. And the texture for these is actually pretty soft, interestingly enough. This is what they feel like. And this is what they look like. So it's going to really encapsulate or I guess hold on to the syrup really well because we have those little crevices. Let's put these back in. Next item, again, we have the Hello Kitty with the cake. And you are our syrup. And it looks like it says maple syrup with Hello Kitty and the sun behind the logo. It's dripping. And here's what it looks like. It says honey, hummingbird approved. Why is it hummingbird approved? Hummingbirds don't make maple syrup. I guess this may be part of their brand, but okay. Cute. And here it says sea sunning, vitamin sweet, and total joy. And of course we get the nozzle for precision. Next we have in this baggie, what are you? Oh, our fruits. We have Hello Kitty pushing a barrel. We have some blueberries and some translucent type of strawberries. Okay. Normally strawberries are not this translucent, but they don't look bad at all. I'm okay with that. Here's a close up. You can even see that the berries are different colors of blue. We have some dark blue and some that are lighter blue, which I do like because it adds a little bit more of that flair. Another piece of baggy. Okay, there you go. I was wondering, I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw bananas. And here are our nanas. Here is what they look like. They basically look like every single banana that we got in every single mini verse. Nothing special about them. I think they focused on the waffles being the special thing. And of course the packaging. And I'm going to guess this is our plate. And the answer is yes. It's too bad the Hello Kitty is on the bottom part because it's going to basically get covered by all the syrup and the waffles. But again, very, oh my goodness, it's red at the bottom. That's cute. That's cute. Y'all did a great job so far. Miniverse, y'all did a great job. And then here I'm guessing we're going to have a fork and knife. Let's see. 
just the fork. Okay, we just have a fork and of course the tongs. And they gave us this really cute checkered mat with Hello Kitty on top and it's yellow background. Adorable. So now let's find the instructions. 346 minutes later. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so according to the instructions here, again, these graphics are just absolutely adorable. I wish they had these graphics somewhere for me to use, but it's just it's just on this here. Miniverse, contact me. I'd like some access to your graphics, please. Okay, just say it. Instructions are pretty straightforward. You put the waffles down, syrup, and just decorate it how you want. Now, with all my years of making these mini-verses, the best way to do this is to actually stack them one on top of the other. So I feel like if we had, oh wait, a stack, like this, where one of them is kind of facing forward, this is going to give us the best aesthetic result. So try, if you want to stack them one on top of the other, sure, you can do that and then just have a bunch of fruit. But I personally absolutely love when my stacks are stacking. Let me just get that resin going. Mad enough? And very nice. Do I need this? I don't need this. Why am I putting this here? I don't need it here. Okay, and we don't want the waffles to move too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit over here. Hello? 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 Do you need a bath? Let me give it a warm bath. All right, now it got its warm bath. Do not give me a hard time. We're gonna put a little bit, please. Okay, there you, ooh, that is pretty. My goodness, that is a golden syrup. We're gonna make sure that we put this here just so that the base waffle does not fall down. And then we're gonna put a little bit more on this edge like so. Very nice just so that the waffles have something to hold on to with each other. We're using it as a glue, basically. This is adorable, my goodness. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put some of that like so. Trickle that on here. You know what I wish they had? Butter. I wish they gave us butter, little tiny butter cubes. That's cute. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> my goodness, yes. I wanna save this in time. We're gonna save this. I think that's good progress so that we don't lose what we have. I'm gonna do that. I like it. And now at this point, it really is about how do you want your fruits to interact with your waffles? You can put some on top, you can put some on the side, a little bit under, and then always make sure that you do use that syrup as a kind of glue. Otherwise, it's just going to roll off the plate. Unless that's what you want, that's totally okay too. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> Let, let me pick all this up. <laughs> I feel like if I ever did get a double of this one, so make sure if you do want a part two to leave a like, I will likely do a frozen moment where I cut a piece off that waffle and make it float. So if you like frozen moments, definitely let me know that you want to see it. That is if I get a double. And here is our waffle and fruits Hello Kitty dessert. I absolutely love this plate. It looks so cute and it's just so Hello Kitty heavy. Oh my goodness. Again, I do wish they did give us tiny little squares or rectangles of butter to make it just kind of melt, add a little bit more of that flair. And here are all the projects that we did today. It does look like a fun brunch type smoothie and waffle and floaty, a floater. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have to say I'm absolutely in love with this set and I can't wait to see what other ones we get. So again, make sure to remember to either share and or like. If you want to watch more miniature crafting mystery boxes, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something different, like just pure unboxing of these cute plushies, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you in the next video.